The NSCL is a national user facility funded by the National Science Foundation Division of Physics. What we do is we make atoms. We make uh, particularly nuclei of atoms uh, that researchers use to try to understand the nuclear force, to try to understand the origin of atoms in the universe, to try to test the fundamental symmetries of nature, and find other applications of isotopes uh, for other sciences. So a theorist can predict something and we can produce that particular nucleus that allows that aspect of the theory to be tested. Now we have an insight into the atomic nucleus that we never had before. The challenges in describing atomic nuclei I think come from the fact that we just don't have a fully consistent model for this kind of system. So if you think of an atom, we were able to make a description of something like hydrogen, and then it turned out that we understood all of the forces involved well enough that we could describe lead very effectively in the same way. But in the nucleus, that's just not the case. The Gratina gamma ray spectrometer is really a world leading device for gamma ray spectroscopy. Being able to detect gamma rays is critical. Being able to detect them and know their energy very precisely is the ultimate goal. Here at NSCL, Gratina is currently running with a spectrometer, which means we can look at gamma rays emitted by particles and correlate those two. And so this has been a very successful campaign. We're doing all kinds of nuclear structure studies, really trying to understand the kind of description of nuclei at a very fundamental level. But we also have experiments looking at astrophysics and different reaction rates relevant to processes in stars. Currently, there's some amazing opportunities in, in nuclear astrophysics. A lot of the questions are, are driven by astronomical observations. So there are now uh, data coming in uh, that uh, tell us uh, how stars made the elements throughout the history of the universe. And we can see uh, stellar processes at work that we didn't even know that they existed. Now we need to go to the laboratory and understand the nuclear physics behind all these processes and phenomena. Here the coupled cyclotron facility, for example, has unique capabilities to uh, restage in the laboratory those very same element creating processes that happen otherwise uh, only inside stars. In nuclear theory, we've really seen a, a transformation of how we address the problem of nuclei. There's really one big challenge that is mass. Uh, many of the methods we've developed are rather restricted to light nuclei and to nuclei around closed shells. And so going forward, we're going to have to tackle this issue of heavy systems and uh, systems that are very far from closed shells. And so in the future, I think uh, in the next decade or so, we'll see tremendous progress in controlling those uncertainties and uh, making a better connection to experiment and the interpretation of experimental results. So one of the exciting things about this laboratory is that there are a lot of young people, students. It's embedded into the university. The NSCL just provides so many opportunities. Um, so I take classes from leading researchers. I get to meet with them on a daily basis. Um, people who have so much experience in the field and are really doing the cutting edge work. It's a very exciting time in nuclear physics, but it's going to be even more exciting because the thing that we're also doing here is we're establishing a new laboratory that's funded by the Department of Energy Office of Science and this is called the Facility for Rare Isotope Beams. The Facility for Rare Isotope Beams will offer unprecedented research facilities for scientists who do science with rare isotopes. We will be able to make more rare isotopes than any other facility in the world and scientists will come here and do research in four areas. They will study the physics of atomic nuclei, trying to find a predictive model of what holds atomic nuclei together. We will look at the origin of elements in stars. We will look at certain fundamental symmetries because we can make very specialized isotopes that are good laboratory to study these fundamental symmetries. And we will focus on the application of rare isotopes to the benefit of society. The new effort facility will be a million times more powerful than the, the current facility that we have now. It will reach into realms of, of nuclear physics that a few years ago people could only dream about. We look forward, together with our users, to be the world's most powerful rare isotope facility in six years.